Let's take a look at our weather forecast today. Today's forecast a lot of sunshine, blue skies, marine clouds. Just a perfect day to go outside and relax. That's your forecast. We'll be right back. Hi there, welcome back to Whiskey Tango Farms YouTube channel. My name's Brandon. Today we're gonna to be testing out a 75 watt portable solar panel that I grabbed. We're gonna be using this at swaps and everything if we need, need heat or charging up the drone battery or anything like that. Um, so we have something portable to go and use. Um, I do have other plans for solar items around the homestead. It plans to put some solar projects in use around the homestead uh, this year to help out on some things, uh, mainly save a little bit of money, why not? Uh, it's an investment, but I think it's going to be a good investment. But I'll show you this solar panel in a little more detail. Here we got the Uranus 75. It's the model number, 75 watt panel. It's all the outputs and everything. It's got the USB quick charge, USB-C, and all the specs on that. Comes with a nice long cable, uh, three meters. Comes with the MC4 adapter to convert to different um, power stations. All these different plugs to convert to different power stations and carabiner clips to hang it up if you need to hang it up. It also has the Velcro to prop the panel up. But we'll prop the panel up and we'll show you how that all works here. So this is pretty easy to set up. Um, this is magnetic here and then it's got some Velcro um, lat, uh, stands. So I just take that, undo the other Velcro, and then angle it the best I can to where it needs to go. And then it's all set up and ready to plug in. What we got here is the Blue Eddy EB70S. It's a 760 watt hour power station. So if you're not familiar with power stations, it's basically an all one solar um, generator as they call them. It's got your normal 110 outlets here. This one actually has an 800 watt inverter, so it can power 800 watts. Um, it also has some USB-C, USB-A ports here, and a cigarette lighter. Um, a lot of people use these for camping, uh, emergency backup power, um, all kinds of stuff. It's got a plug here that you can plug in a solar panel and charge from the sun, or it can power from your wall outlet if you just want to power it up and take it with you as a battery. You don't want to do a solar panel. Um, and it's got a fancy little light here too. And so I did test this earlier um, just real quick and I found that the adapters that come with this to adapt the solar panel straight to the Blue Eddy power station didn't work so well. This connector is a little bigger. Um, so we're going to use the MC4 adapters. That's what the Blue Eddy comes with anyways for solar. So I'm just going to plug these in and get that charged and then this will plug right into the back of the solar panel and then this plugs right into the front here and then we'll see how well it does i'm not sure if this is the best angle but i mean it's not doing too bad it is a slightly cloudy day today um, and we're getting 55 watts all right, so this being a 75 watt panel, we're getting 55 watts. Um, it is late March, which is pretty good. It's doing pretty well. But I'm, I'm gonna hook up the Bouge RV panel here and just kind of show a little bit of comparison. This is really good for a portable panel, but we'll show what a, a rigid panel will do here. So I'll grab that and we'll hook it all up. So with the rigid panel, they all pretty much have the MC4 connectors. But I'm gonna try to angle this, you know, about the same angle. Now this is a 100 watt panel, so obviously it's gonna make more power. But this isn't easy to 
carry around with you places. This is portable, it's made to be portable, so you can take it, um, you can take it with you camping or like what we're gonna use it for primarily is to take it to like swaps and stuff to charge your drone, camera batteries, um, maybe a brooder plate or something like that if we have chicks that need heat. So I just plug this in, sitting at the same angle and everything. Um, this is going in, um, pumping in 98 watts, which is pretty good. Um, the fans did kick in on the charger, but mainly probably because it's sitting in the sun, that's not a whole lot of wattage. When I've charged this before, it wasn't kicking the fans in um, at all. But yeah, it's charging pretty good. But like I said, this is a lot heavier. I believe this is around 20 pounds or so um this is seven pounds to carry with you and it honestly for the price um it was pretty decent for a portable solar panel all right so this uh solar panel i actually got a really good deal on it it was an amazon flash sale i got it i believe almost like 50 percent off i got it for 60 bucks uh so it was a killer deal but um, they do sell it right now. I believe it was like 118 with a $10 coupon, which still isn't bad for a portable solar panel. These are made to be more rugged than a rigid panel, solar panel like that 100 watt Bouge RV. Uh, you're not gonna carry that around and try to set that up all the time. The portable panels with the kickstands and everything, and this one being small, lightweight, it's only seven pounds, um, does a great job. And it's gonna be good enough for us uh, when we're portable with this station, this power station, and doing everything that we need. Um, if you're interested in any of these items that I showed today, I'll have a link in the description so you can check them out if you want to. Uh, there are some good deals. I know the Bouge RV um, panels are right around $100 or $90 bucks right now. They're actually really good for price for a rigid panel. We're going to have some more solar um, projects coming up around the homestead. i got big plans to do uh, various things and kind of some fun stuff. So if you want to continue to watch some of that stuff, subscribe and stay tuned. Thank you.